we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh the good times just begun Excited to be exiting Denmark for our second country in such ideal weather, we set sail on the Great Belt Strait. We would be passing under the elegant 18km suspension bridge, the Great Belt Bridge, which is the only land crossing to Europe from Copenhagen and Sweden. From the Great Belt Strait, we would sail the Longland Strait, which leads to the Baltic Sea and the opening of the Kiel Canal. even though it looks like it's cold because we have clothes on because of the wind. And it's sunny and we have wind in our backs, which is making this passage through the Studebelt in Denmark bearable and doable. We heard from another sailor that if we didn't have this, this wind direction, it would be almost impossible to sail through it, at least if it was the opposite. But we have northeast winds, which is blowing us the exact right direction. And it's just been wonderful to be able to sit here and not heel over. It's a comfortable sail, and we are sailing steadily along at around six knots average. So this is a good sail for us again. It's about 12, 31 o'clock now, and uh, we're enjoying ourselves. between five to seven, eight knots. So even though it's relaxing, we still are going somewhere. We figured out that if we sail 10 hours from Samsa Island in Denmark, we'll be about halfway to Kiel Canal. So around maybe six o'clock, we'll decide if we're gonna keep going or if we're gonna go overnighting to make it down to Kiel Canal. We'll see. It's a little bit of navigating here, but it's not too bad. But the, there is a shipping lane here. If you can see the ship over here, which we have to avoid. We just crossed it. So now we're on the east side of the shipping lane. Ivan's putting out this spray boom because the Genoa is hidden a little bit by the, the mainsail and it's uh, waving and whipping in the wind a little bit too much. Hoping we'll get a little bit more speed on that too. Right now we're averaging about five knots. We'd like to have more like six, seven. The first time we've used this speed. Uh, Ivan didn't manage to fasten the pole, but the winds picked up anyway, giving us the speed we wanted. Approaching the Sturebelt Bridge in Denmark. I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's a floating bridge from the land from there. And then it goes over here. And then on the starboard side of our ship, you see some arms and then the bridge, which is made higher for large vessels to pass under in sailboats. And then it goes down again into a floating bridge all the way until it gets to the land. Course, and we're going six knots almost. Six knots, we have 13 knots of true wind speed. We have almost six knots of speed here. It goes up and down all the time because of the instability of the wind. But this is sailing for you. 
We gotta work together. We're gonna go under that bridge over there. Okay. It's a Richty Kirsch. Perfect Kirsch here. But that one to get right before the bridge. We have to go more uh, starboard. Have you seen any dolphins yet? I haven't seen any dolphins. I only saw one seal, maybe two. We saw a dolphin. We saw a dead seal, a dead baby seal. You saw a dolphin? dolphin? It's an oxel or a dolphin. It's a combination of Norwegian and English. The boys came up for some fresh air. It looks like. How many times have we sailed? We have sailed for. It's it's four o'clock. We left at like nine thirty. So how many hours is that? It's a lot of hours. Six and a half hours. for the advice. Yeah. Here's first of all the huge bridge. It's very long. We're gonna go under it. It's 50, 65 meters high in the middle there. We're gonna go under where it's only 53 meters high because there's a humongous tank ship coming behind us. It's 400 meters long. He called us up and said, which way are you guys going? We don't want to hit you. We're like, oh, that's scary. Look at this guy. It looks like a big block on the water. It's humongous. You don't want to be near that thing. Yeah. Okay. It's around 10 and if you stay close to the side, otherwise it goes down to 1. Yeah. So we have to be in this blue area right next to the white area. But it says 53 meters high on the bridge over there. It's 10 meters deep right there. 10 meters deep, 54 high. We need to go even more forward, I think. Yeah. We're going very slowly. Yeah, we're going very slowly. and the bridge are tiny so it shows you how far away we are. It's big buses that look like little ants. So we made it under our first bridge. There's the huge freighter ship that called us on the VHF radio to ask us which direction we're intending to go. He went under that biggest middle part there. He's 400 meters long. We ended up going on the side of the bridge here where it's 22 meters, which is actually a little bit more direct course for us if we just keep going uh, south. But it looked like in my eyes that we were going to hit the top. It was kind of scary. So we are happy about that. I feel a little bit more comfortable now after crossing out of the way of that huge tank ship. Learning a lot. Ivan says that every time he leaves me at the helm, I call out for him. <laughs> he thinks it's kind of getting annoying because I'm just like, Ivan! Right when he goes down to go to the bathroom or get some food or something. And sometimes I'm just uncertain about the direction or the flailing of the sails or a boat coming near us and what to do. And I just let things get to me a little bit too much, I've realized. And I gotta be a little more chill. 
because it's gonna go okay and we're actually going very slowly. The sailboats don't go fast. If it was a speedboat maybe I, I would have a little more credibility on those fears but uh, we're going slow even the birds are flying faster than us. Even though we are going at six knots which is not so bad for a heavy 11 ton boat. Nine or eleven. So I'm at the helm now. It's a lot more shallow over here, but it's not too shallow for us right now. The huge bridge we just went under from the island of Odense to this island, which is also part of Denmark, Shaland. And we're here. The bridge is here all along that whole way. Now we are right there and our waypoints are plotted out for going over here, Langeland maybe, and over the sea to where the Kiel Canal is in Germany. We're upside down because north is this way. We're going down here and then we're going to cross the Bay of Biscay afterwards, this huge inlet which is notorious for storms. And then we're going to go down the coast of Spain and to the Canary Islands. This is the Canary Islands, yeah, they're there. Or down to Cape Verde, which is right here. And then over the Atlantic to the Caribbean is the plan. We have decided to sail through the night from Samsa to Kiel, Germany. It is 6.35 in the evening and Ivan just went to lay down for about an hour and a half while I steer the ship by myself for the first time this trip um, because he knows me that I will not feel comfortable in this bay area navigating by myself at night time especially if the winds shift and then I have to both trim the sails and uh, <clears throat> make sure everything's okay in the middle of the night so then I can help get the kids to bed and we can sail through the night. So we should be arriving Kiel in the morning. It's a gorgeous evening with sun shining and it's pretty mild out. It's probably 62 degrees. It's about 17 degrees Celsius in the water which is not so bad for the beginning of fall. So it's still swimmable but I don't swim unless I'm really hot. myself into the sunset at 220 degrees and it's looking pretty good here. We're going the right direction, we're on course, we're going five knots and it's eight o'clock. I'm feeling pretty satisfied with my first semi evening sail alone. Um, there's definitely a lot to watch out for though. I just had to navigate to hold my course a little bit um, too much to the wind to not cross too big cargo ships. So it wasn't perfect sailing because I had to keep my course so that I didn't run into them. But it's good training and I have to continue to do that because otherwise I'll run to the land here or I'll have to change the sails which I don't want to do alone. So I'm going to go a little bit more port so that we can keep along the coast <laughs> but Ivan should be getting up anytime soon. He said he's gonna wake up at eight, so I hope so. Because I'm not sure how much more I can uh, steer port here. You guys, look at that moon. That is the moon rising, if you can call it that. It's like baby pink.
I let Ivan sleep an hour longer since everything was going so well, but he ended up taking the entire night shift. You won't hear any complaints from me. degrees, one degree lower again, and the wind has died down. So now we only have like five knots true wind, and we're sailing at about four, so that's not too bad. It's peaceful <clears throat> sailing in the early hours of the morning. The wind though is variable, so I have to keep adjusting uh, the amount of wind we get in our sails. It should be around 120 degrees and it keeps going down to 140, 150 degrees. And then it starts making that sound. But other than that, it's peaceful. The boys just woke up, they're just playing downstairs. And the sun is in my back, it's gorgeous. It's quiet, there's not many other boats out here. knots right now. Up to max four knots. So we're not going very fast anymore. We will soon be driving so we can get into the port. We're near the Q Canal. We just passed Endurance, this huge to be for sailboats. We've seen like at least 50 sailboats out here. You see in the background there? You think maybe there's a regatta? Look at all those masts over there in the harbor. Three harbors. There's a harbor right back there too. Second country after Norway. We got a little German flag up there and a beautiful anchorage here right next to a harbor and there's like millions of uh, sailboats here it feels like. There's just hundreds and hundreds and people are out today sailing. I don't know if it's a free day here in Germany or what but it's gorgeous, it's sunny and we are very happy with our trip. Our second overnight trip and our longest overnight trip, right? Yep. You happy about it? Yep. So now it's time to explore um, the area of Kiel Holteno and get some rest relaxation and we're going to hopefully go down the Kiel Canal tomorrow. and he's 
got a bird to try to scare them away. Looks like they like the bird instead. Look up on top there too. Remind me not to buy a bird like that to protect from uh, bird poop. Do you like sailing? Yeah. Yeah. to take a, a day of errands and rest because we sailed through the night uh, two nights ago. Sailed for like over 24 hours so we were pretty, <laughs> we were more tired than we thought when it came to be nighttime. So we decided to just get the kids um, going with their schoolwork today and Ivan was out doing errands and now we're taking this walk on this beautiful uh, walkway by the ocean and we're hoping to go through the Kiel Canal tomorrow. Enjoying the sunshine and the warmth, and it's a good day. It's like at least 75 degrees here. It got so warm that the kids just threw off their clothes and jumped in the water. Stay tuned as we start our transit through the Kiel Canal in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And don't forget to click that bell for notifications of the next videos.